Cappies on my cappies, welcome to Vivid Vibration. I'm sorry you guys, I'm in my last week of kinesiology and I am just like, <laughs> got this. <laughs> but it's just left me a little bit tired. <laughs> so we have the temple and the mother, the mountain and the lover. Um, I mean, I guess I just kind of feel like, I mean, the mother is the idea of like clinging to an identity and, you know, like finding your identity out of something or trusting that you've gotten what you need out of it and like releasing it into the world, um, or that you've taught it everything that you can and releasing it out into the world, you know, just kind of like that dichotomy of, of like the mother role. Um, and like, what is it that you really worship? You know, like, do you, I, I almost feel like this question of, do you honor tradition over growth? Do you honor tradition over healing? Do you honor tradition over all things? You know what I mean? I just kind of feel like there is this sense of honoring something that has prevented you from really engaging with the value of you because it was like, if you only value, if you only worship the outside, you can't, you can't glean any of the value from the inside. Um, and the lover, I mean, the lover is just kind of this idea of, well, I mean, a relationship and like the lover, but I just kind of get this sense of, of for some of you all, and then you can be on either side of this story and you can be dealing with somebody in this energy. So take what resonates, how it resonates and leave the rest. But I get the feeling that there was like this idea of like holding on to like the way things looked. It's just about like, but it looks this way. So we have to like, we have to, we have to live up to like this. And it's kind of like, well, but if you're constantly trying to live up to this, then you're missing all of the value that like, that is you or that is somebody that you're dealing with, or that is like, a, I don't know what, <laughs> let's do clarifiers and find out more. <laughs> Cappies, I hope y'all are doing well. <sighs> the lover, I mean the lovers, ooh, in the tower. Mm. Okay. <laughs> I just feel like there's somebody saying like, I don't just want something that's pretty. I don't like, like being pretty isn't enough. I don't know. I don't know where that's coming from because it feels very like, like this is not a trophy relationship. This is not a trophy title. This is not a trophy identity to me. Like, like I don't want the trophy. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just kind of like, like if I have to be a trophy, anything, then I will never, I will like, that will rob me of all of my value. And I just feel like releasing this trophy identity, however that plays out for you, whether it's at work and you're like the trophy foreman the trophy <laughs> the, the trophy you know like executive assistant the trophy you know whatever but I just kind of feel like it's like I don't want the title of all of this like all of this experience that I have I could have like a title that's so much bigger than this you know what I mean I just feel like this like point of frustration where you're like I don't want that like that's that is so confining and limiting to me <laughs> You know what I mean? And I think experiencing, you know, like a, like a break from that, um, because I do feel like somebody is speaking this, I don't know which side of the story you're on, but I just feel like this, like speaking, sometimes you just got to like speak it into existence. And I feel like there's just like speaking this end into existence because you just felt like it was just like pulling at you and it's setting you on your way, <laughs> you know, to your new beginning. That's so much more emotionally fulfilling. If it's a relationship, I feel like it's a relationship that 
honors the value of you and recognizes the value of you and doesn't want to just trophy you, you know, like it's like, I feel like whatever this new beginning is, it feels so much more free. <laughs> okay. Cappies. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe for some of my cappies, you've been in some trophy relationships. Like you were like the trophy girlfriend or the trophy boyfriend and you were there to be pranced around, but you didn't, but like you didn't actually have any, anything in common with any of these people. You know what I mean? You're just kind of like, well, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> The Seven of Pentacles, the Page of Wands, the Knight of Cups, the Knight of Swords, and the Queen of Swords. Well, I mean, there is just this, like, I do feel like there's a speaking on something, but it's like, I'm, I, I don't want to do that because I feel like I'm missing out on the value of myself. And I, and again, I just think this opportunity to really go in a direction that, that feels like you're just like standing in the truth of who you are. Um, very empowering. I love it. Um, you know, my cappies are the goats <laughs> and it feels good when you wear that, that sense of, of I don't know, just like knowing your worth, knowing your value, like, like I know who I am, you know what I mean? <laughs> And like, and I know that I'm so much more than that. However that plays out for you, whether again, it's a job or your family or, you know, like your relationships, like whatever. <laughs> I just feel like having to really break free from an identity. Um, you have the King of Cups and the Seven of Cups. I mean, this is just kind of like a, a sense of emotional detachment and not really wanting to make any of the choices that you have. It's like, well, yeah, I mean, I know that I could like, if I really wanted to, I could, but like, I don't really think I want to, you know what I mean? <laughs> and it's kind of like, I, I'm, I'm going to go in a direction that honors my truth, that I just feel like fulfills me emotionally, that sees my value, matches my value. Do you know what I mean? Like all of these things. <laughs> Feels a little sassy. <laughs> I'm here for it, Caps. Um, <laughs> okay, let's do one last card for y'all. We'll call it a read. Okay, three, four popped out. The Village, the Comic, the Healer, and the Crone. <sighs> well, I mean, the Village is the idea that you can't get any bigger than the community around you. And, and... The comic always comes through is that like, you know, like, oh, I'm too smart to be happy. But like, are you too, are you not brilliant enough to be curious, like about what's outside of this restricted identity um, to just see what value you can bring and see what value can be traded and what healing can occur? You know, I just feel like this, I don't know like a turning away from one thing and like stepping into another. Um, yeah, I don't know, because part of what I feel like you're, you're stepping away from is just like, almost like when you finally make that decision, there is a sense of there are no other choices. Well, and if it's a trophy thing, I don't know why. I don't know who's here with me today. And if you are dealing with this, God bless you because, oof, I would not have the patience. <laughs> but it just gets, like, I just get this feeling of, like, no longer having to, I just feel like shutting the door on all of these empty choices. It does. It feels empowered. It feels like full of, of value and, and a self of like, like a, a strong sense of identity, you know, that like surpasses any identity that other people want to put on you to the point where you just feel like empowered to just like step out of this village, out of this identity, out of this, whatever, however it resonates for you. Again, you can be on either side of this story and you can be dealing with somebody in this energy 
So take what resonates and leave the rest. If this does resonate with you though, please give me a like, share, and subscribe. Um, thank you so much for spending some time with me, for sharing your energy with me. Um, it means the world to me and yeah, I will see y'all again soon. Bye.